Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, if you're on Windows 11 24H2, there's been a lot of people that have been noticing a little something new in their um, main folder or the main drive where Windows is installed. And I checked, and it is also on my machine. Um, if, of course, you're on 24H2, yesterday you received, or if it's not yesterday you have at some point received the um, security updates and it came in the form of a KB5055523 uh, security update, cumulative update for Windows 11. And some people and a couple of you on the channel have mentioned and asked me what that is. It's um, if you go to your C drive where Windows is, or whatever drive your Windows is installed, at the basics, you'll see that there's a new folder called inetpub. Click on it, there's nothing in here. It's an empty folder. So a lot of people have been asking, where does this come from? Was not there before yesterday. <clears throat> so for this folder to appear, it means that the um, internet information service within Windows has been triggered. Even if it's turned off at some point during the install yesterday, it was triggered. When that is turned on, uh, it all automatically creates a folder called inetpub. So um, what is it? Well, the only thing that we can guess is that within the Windows updates yesterday, they had to change something, turn on the Internet Information Service briefly uh, and the services and probably, um, you know, then after that, turned it off again if it was already off. So it created that folder, which, by the way, you can right-click and delete. There is no danger of deleting the INET pub. So if you don't want to have an empty folder that serves absolutely no purpose, uh, you can remove it. There is no problem there. So uh, one of those mysterious and weird things that happened with Patch Tuesday update of April 2025 uh, seems to affect only 24H2 users. So um, if you want to check it out, uh, yep, you can delete it. There is no problem there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.